Hello everybody, this is MCV Digital and what I'm going to be talking about today is Magic's Music Maker 15. Now, um, a lot of people have been complaining about this product because for some reason they can't get the sound pools in it. And the thing about that is you have to go someplace to download them, but another problem that a lot of people are having is getting them. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how to get these sound pools and how to import them into Magic's Music Maker 15. So let's just open that up. It's the premium. Alright, and here it is, Magic's Music Maker 15. As you can see, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, in the sound pools area down here. And um, a reason for that is because you have to get the sound pools, but as I said, everybody's having a big problem on getting that. And I'm going to show you how to get them just easy. You can skip on to the video. I'll probably have um, an annotation to skip you on to probably where I start getting the sound pools. But um, I would just want to talk to you right now and explain to you what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And what I'm going to be talking about is how to get the sound pools and also how to import them in. And first I'd like to tell you that I have visited the forums and a lot of people are disappointed about this product because it takes a lot of work to get these in and the sound packets are really, 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 really big files and they take a long, long time to get into your computer. And also there's a specific place where you need to download them or else it might not work. And there's also a specific way that you have to get them in here. A lot of people have been thinking that you have to come over here to the add styles portion of the um, the page in the sound pools. It's not as good as FL Studio, but it is cheaper and better, or easier as I should say, than FL Studio. And also what I would like to say is that if it says the trial version, one of the reasons why is probably because you haven't put in the activation code if you got it off the website. And how to do that is you go to the email that you signed up with Magix with and there should be an email from them with the activation code and all of that. Um, I forgot what they called it. I don't think they called it activation code. I think serial number or something like that. But yeah, after you put that in, it will no longer be the trial version. Also, a heads up, I'm going to already start to show you how to get the sound packets. But this is Magic's Music Maker 15 Premium. I got the premium version, the download version. Um, if you have another version of Magic's Music Maker 15, I don't think that there's going to be the same outcome as it would if you have that one. But, um, yeah, just to let you know for heads up that this doesn't work, that I have the premium version. And, um, yeah, so let's just get started already. What we're going to want to do is you're going to come over here to where it says download sound packets. The way you get it is, um, I'm just going to exit out here to give you an example. Don't save arrangements. Um, I'm going to come over here. Magic's Music Maker 15 Pro. I'm going to open up again, and here it is opening up. It shouldn't say trial version there if you already put in the activation code. Um, here it comes opening up. Alright, right here, download sound packets. It's going slow. No. Okay, don't press this button because um, I don't know any other way to get the sound packets except for when this opens up. Alright, so go ahead and click this button. Download sound packets. Did I click it? Yeah, it's just my computer is going slow. Here it goes, Mozilla Firefox. Alright, I'm going to go over here. A page like this, let me zoom out all the way. Should show up, download Barrich, I have no idea. It should, this is, I'm going to put this link in the description. I don't know if it's going to be the same outcome if you're on a different computer. I'm in Firefox, but yeah. I'm going to put this code in the description. If you can't find the download sound packets place inside the file, and I'm just going to post it on 
the description, so go check right now. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is click right here where it says content. After you click that, all these things show up. It says content pack 1, 288 megabytes, content pack 2, 891 megabytes, content pack 3, so on. It's four of them, and as you can see here, this is all the stuff that they have in them. Drum and bass, video content, orchestral strings, electric guitar, blah blah blah. You're gonna have to download all of these. I've already downloaded Content Pack 1 and Content Pack 3, but I haven't opened them yet. So I'm gonna download Content Pack 2 and Content Pack 4. Um, and while you're downloading these, heads up, um, here's some advice. Do not mess with your computer. Don't go on the internet while you're downloading these because I, these are some pretty big files that you'll need to give them some time to download. And um, if you're just messing with your computer, that could mess them up, make them go slower. And if they take too much time, your computer is going to cancel the download because it'll the antivirus. If you have an antivirus system, so you can start off downloading Content Pack One before you do anything. Could download all of them in a row. That's what I recommend, but since I already downloaded Contact Pack 1 and Contact Pack 3, these other two, I was messing around on my computer while I was downloading them, and they didn't work out. They didn't download. That's why I'm giving you this heads up. So just go ahead and download all of them in a row. I'm already going to cut off the video because I need to download these two myself. And the way I know that this works, because my dad, he, because I was impatient, and he was the actual one that figured it out. So, yeah, I'm just going to give them props because, yeah, alright, whatever. Okay, so go ahead and click here. This box is going to pop up. It's going to ask you for the display code. Um, just put in the code that's up here. Um, 280547. Hopefully that's right. Download, yep. All right, so here is going here. There's going to be a uh, thank you. Please click here to download. Since I'm in Firefox, the best way to do this is right-click it, save link as. I'm gonna save it. Okay, this is where you um, where I'm gonna tell you where you have to save it. Go to your documents. Down here, there should be um, a box that says Magic's Music Maker 15 Premium, a folder, I mean, a folder. And this is where all the stuff is. As you can see, I already downloaded Content Pack 1 US, Content Pack 3, and I have no idea what that stands for, but whatever. Yeah, and just leave it the same like this. This is the folder that you have to put it. I recommend it. I haven't tried it anywhere else, but last time when I tried to do this, it didn't work. So just save it here in this folder just to be safe. Leave the name the same. I don't recommend you changing it because... I just don't recommend it. You don't want to be doing anything big. Just go with the flow. It's going to be a binary file, just as you're wondering. I don't know the other one. You don't have to change this at all. There's no way of changing it, actually. Don't click all files. Yeah, so just save it like that. Remember, it. the folder should be called magics underscore music bigger 15 premium underscore download. The rest of this stuff is not there. Yeah, well, the folder should be there. You have to have that folder if you download Magic Music Maker. Um, yeah, so I'm already going to click Save. And this thing shows up. See, as you can see, the Contact Pack 4 I was trying to download failed because I was doing stuff after it. So I'm already going to cut this off, just so you know. I'm going to pause it right now because I'm going to cut it. I'm going to turn off the screen recorder, but yeah, now, that's what you need to do. Just do them all in a row, contact back one, two, three, four, and you should, it should come out just fine. So after you're done with that, I'm going to pause the video. You can just pause the video right now, and after you're done, come back to it, and I will explain all the stuff that you have to do next. So thank you for watching. I'm going to pause it. Peace out.